and it's like literally right there. You see it? You see it? You see it? We've been here. Oh, God. We got up this morning and uh, the, the 75 tons in PDI. So we're driving around with Robert, checking out the LDV. It's where they build the snap on trucks. So Lynch Truck Center actually builds all the snap on trucks. Wait for it. Uh, yeah, we're That's a lot of snap-on trucks. Oh look, more snap-on trucks. We're following rubber around. Um, he's showing us the. He's showing us where the snap-on trucks get built. Lynch builds all the snap-on trucks. Uh, it's called LDV. It's pretty crazy. trucks we're gonna go to our LDV while we're waiting so you folks stand by now I'm I'm impressed with the uh, with the uh, what is it LDV um, okay. There's a lot of stuff going on here. Yeah, they do. They have a lot. lot. Snap-on trucks, command centers. Uh, I think this is going to be a video in its own. B100. All right, so we just toured LDV. Well, let me tell you, I am impressed. Command centers everywhere. I've seen three or four command centers that um, we're probably gonna be needing in the near future Semi after we buy a helicopter. Texas um, is so two million dollars uh, is what he said, minimum. Two million. So, um, anyway, so uh, we're heading over to Lynch Truck Center uh, to check out 75 ton. Uh, it sounds like they got it done. So, uh, stand by. So, we have this facility, our Chicago facility, Denver facility, which is new, it's funny about. Um, they have LDV, which is uh, significantly yeah. bigger than this. And then, uh... Oh, you got a Mack truck in here, Yeah. Oh, oh you yeah, all do Mack trucks, too. Yeah. Yeah, so we service everything like light, medium, heavy duty here. We run two shifts for our service department. Um, work on everything light, medium, heavy, and then uh, going through the motor on this thing. So these are two dress out bays. Um, this, is where, this is where all the trucks get plumbed, wired, upfitted. Um, where the little carriers, little self loaders, wreckers, medium duties, um, heavy integrated rotators come in here, get checked over. Um, Sean and Ray go through all the trucks. Um, you know, we had both, both guys going through the, the rotator earlier. Um, then we have a few set bays over here. Um, chassis come in, cut the chassis, check the chassis over, 
Um, right now they're doing a service job for service, but um, yeah, the same two guys setting all the carriers, all the wreckers, same two guys plumbing, wiring, dressing trucks out. We actually, we're, we're gonna do, we're doing an addition, so I think we're gonna blow this wall out and we'll put another eight bays in down that way. Yeah. Um, we'll start in the fall, I guess we're starting in the spring. And then um, doing some more stuff, we're expanding the parking lot and all that fun stuff. And here's your, uh, here's your new sleigh. There she is. Did he hurt your baby? So is anybody working on it right now? Guys. Getting ready to detail it or what? Yeah. Tomorrow morning, we're out of here. Should be the last time we have to come look at our truck. Not finished. So, stand by. Look, everyone, it's Robert with Lynch Truck Center. Good morning, guys. The man. <laughs> All right, so it's done, ready to go. We're fixing to start. Our long journey back to America, back to Arizona. Uh, this isn't California, but uh, so here you go. Enjoy. what a million bucks looks like. Money well spent. You stay classy, Lynch Truck Center. If you all are in need of a wrecker, call Lynch Truck Center. See Robert, that guy goes above and beyond. He was here until 10 o'clock last night putting vinyls on this truck for us. And he doesn't even do vinyls, so. Stopped here in Peoria, visit with a friend. He used to work with us, work for us. He's our truck boss, and he started his own company, Dependable Towing. We we're just stopping and visiting with him. So, if you need a tow in Peoria, Illinois, Dependable Towing is your guy. What do you think? Bad. I like it. There you have it folks, he likes it. And it is snowing, and it is colder than a well digger's asshole. So, well, we gotta drive it all the way back to Northern Arizona. So when you get on an airplane, they don't let you take a knife, so. Um, I had to buy this communist Made in China knife. 
but I guess she'll work until I get back to Arizona. Unless I come across something better. A little update. We just came into Denver after three days going through Kansas. See the Rockies. It's the home stretch. And uh, we got the hammer down. Well, as far as the hammer will go down. It's governed at 67, so the hammer only goes down to 67. Sweet home. Well, we made it, baby. 